हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू आर डूइंग गुड एंड रेडी टू डू सम मैथ्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल क्वांटवाइजर एंड वी विल डू सम मैथमेटिक्स टुडे ओके टुडे इस लेक्चर वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड मार्को प्रोसेस हाउ डज इट वर्क एंड हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द प्रोबेबिलिटीज बेस्ड ऑन द मार्को मॉडल ओके मार्को प्रोसेस इज यूज्ड इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ सिस्टम ओवर रिपीटेड ट्रायल हाउ डज इट वर्क एंड हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द प्रोबेबिलिटीज दैट वी विल सी गोइंग फर्दर Let's assume there is a cafe in an office where thousand people come to have a drink every day. They have two choices: either they can go for cola or they can go for orange. Out of those thousand people, four hundred are going for cola and six hundred are going for orange. So, at any given point of time, if I ask you what is the probability that someone coming who is going to buy cola or he is going to buy orange your answer might be 40% and 60% but what happens in real shopkeeper observe that his sales is variable and it is changing every day and after certain time it is steady but the people who bought cola are not the same every day and the people who bought orange are not the same every day he observe and we'll try to understand his observation based on a matrix this matrix is called a transition matrix so he observe the behavior of cola and orange buying people and what he see that 60% of the people who bought cola are buying cola again while 40% of the cola buyer are going for the orange next day similarly 70% of the orange buyer are preferring the orange next day while 30% are moving for the cola now based on his observation what is the long term probability and how it is changing week over week that we will try to analyze what was the initial stage cola buyers are 40% and orange buyers are 60% next day if i ask what is the probability that someone is going to buy cola or someone is going to buy orange those who know the matrix multiplication can do it quickly but those who do not know for them try to understand it this is a matrix now every matrix has a dimension r1 cross c1 is the dimension of first matrix now number of rows here are 2 number of columns are 2 so dimension is 2 cross 2 r2 c2 is dimension of second matrix number of row is 1 number of column are 2 now how the matrix multiplication work whenever we are going to multiply the matrix first matrix dimension column should be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix for the multiplication now how to choose the first matrix and second matrix that we will see while applying the formula okay so now the number of column here are 2 and number of row here are 2 so multiplication is possible number of row is equal to number of column now, how many column are here two and how many row are here one our resultant matrix would be the dimension of one cross two okay these are the dimension of r2 cross c1 is it clear now we will apply the matrix multiplication formula to do the multi matrix multiplication simply select the cells of the matrix dimension so we select 1 cross 2 1 row and 2 column press f2 apply formula m m u l t bracket select array 1 so this is our first matrix we have selected comma this is our second matrix we have selected Bracket close. 
press control shift enter now we have got the resultant probabilities for the second week 42% people are going to buy cola and 58% people are going for the orange what is going to happen in the third week what we do here apply the same formula again now this will be our input matrix here while this matrix will remain the same probabilities are changing we can do the same trial repeatedly n number of times and we will get the answers here oops what happened it is giving an error so to avoid it what is happening here when we drag the formula both the matrix selection has changed now we will apply the formula from here itself we want this matrix to be steady while this matrix to go down with each step so what we do here we lock the cells here and press ctrl shift enter and then drag the formula here you got the numbers let's do a little bit clean up we calculate the numbers up to two decimal places see something after the week seven probabilities are not changing so here we have achieved absorbing stage because the probabilities after this stage are not changing and these are called steady state probability so at any point of time if someone asks how many people are going to buy cola your answer would be this multiplied by this and similarly how many people are going to buy orange answer would be, of course it should be an integer number so we just round it off and the answers are 429 and 571 okay now if the number of buyer are changed let's say it has changed to 1200 then the shopkeeper need to manage accordingly i hope it is clear till now now these are the long term probabilities or steady state probability while series of events are called Marco chain. I hope you got the fair idea of what is Marco probabilities and how to calculate it. Now let's do a trick. There is a third drink introduced. We have cola, we have orange and now lemon is also there again after repeated trials shopkeeper observed that the people who bought cola now 55 percent are continuing with the cola again while 30 percent are moving to orange and remaining 15 percent are moving for lemon Similarly, the orange buyers, 35% are continuing with cola. Sorry, 30% are moving to cola. 55% are retained by orange and 10% are going for lemon. And those who initially bought lemon, 15% are moving to cola. 25% are moving to orange and 60% are retaining retained by lemon let's see this matrix is correct yes numbers are adding up now initial stage let's assume it's it was just as this one okay
lock the cells of second matrix and press Ctrl Shift Enter and here are the numbers again we change it to two decimal places so now as you can see going down probability numbers are steady 3.718241 but again here it change and after it does it change anywhere no it's steady for the long term so here we achieve the stage and these are our steady state probability hope you got a fair idea of how does the marco process works now where it is applied else applied in quantum physics understand the behavior of the particle movement applied in the stock price movement and many more fields so we will study sometime later till then thanks for watching bye bye